Good Monday morning. Well, no more interruptions. We're back on the Sermon on the Mount this week. And we're starting chapter six. And as you know, when we finished up, we were talking about adultery and divorce and hard topics. And Jesus is getting back to the heart of things yet again. And this time he's examining, he's asking us to ask ourselves the questions, why do you do what you do? And he starts off with giving, which I think is so interesting. And he doesn't talk about if you give, but he says it this way. He says, when you give, when you give, be especially careful when you're trying to be good so that you don't make a performance out of it. It might be good theater, but the God who made you won't be applauding. And then he says, when you do something for someone else. So it is um, a staple in the commodity of God that you and I be generous of spirit in this life that we're looking for the needs that we can fill no matter where that is you know one of the places that i felt especially tender in this season towards is food i think because you go to the grocery store and the thing of cereal that used to cost 349 or 449 now feels like it's 599 and I think about people who struggle just to buy food. And so I've had to ask myself, Lord, what does being generous in this season look like? Not if, but what? But then he tells us, he says, when you are generous, it's not about a show, it's not about a performance, it's not about doing it where you can be seen or telling everybody about what you've done. It's a heart issue. It's about you being obedient to me and you paying attention to the places and the people that I place on your heart to be generous to. So, are you generous, first of all? You know, years ago, I've told you this story so many times that one of the first things I tried to teach my bonus kids is that if they would share, if they would keep their hands open, then God could get more to them so He could get it through them. The same is true in our life. If you and I live life like this, then what we have is all we'll get, and we could end up squeezing the life out of that. And there is, especially in a season, in a moment like this, when, when things are harder and more expensive and gas costs an arm and a leg, to want to hoard and be tight-fisted. But that is not the way God has called us to live. We should still be looking for needs that we can meet one way or another. And then when we do, it's not about other people seeing, but it's about God taking stock of our own heart. So pay attention. Pay attention to that tug that speaks to you about someone you know in need and ask God how you can meet it. I have a feeling He'll let you know. If your heart was encouraged today, please know that we have many other resources available for you. You can discover all of those at reclaiminghearts.org.